This is a commission I got just yesterday, knocked it out this morning. I was really happy with how it turned out, so I wanted to go over the process. First step, the guy sent me a message uh, through PayPal. It cost a dollar to get a, a quote from me or get my attention, basically, because uh, otherwise people were sending me requests for like, hey, please make this whole game for me for free. And I'm, I don't have time for that. I'm a busy guy. So he uh, sent me an inquiry over PayPal, and he said this idea for a little clasp. I want it to spiral together. I want it to be like a sphere or maybe like a long sphere. Is that even possible? And I thought to myself, yes, that's possible. I, I think I know what you're saying and I think it's possible. So I just did it. I made one real quick and dirty. And as you can see, the geometry is pretty messy. He said, yes, that's perfect. I love it. Uh, how much was it cost to 3D print it? And so I'm like, okay, well, I'll figure it out. So I got it uploaded on Shapeways, got him a material quote, uh, asked a few questions about, you know, sizes and things, came up with this. And then he said, oh, well, I want it actually with like a hole in the end instead of hole sideways through the, the end. Uh, kind of like a bead, you know, with a hole all the way through. And so I took the opportunity to clean up the geometry because this is all generated with a pretty procedural workflow. So you can see here, there's a spiral that I, the initial shape I generated from a screw modifier. And then that gets flipped over, merged together into a single part remove all the doubles so that all the points join up. I'm sure there's a way to do this procedurally, but I, I haven't figured it out. You can mirror something, but you can't like, well, you could rotate it with an array modifier, I suppose. Uh, but I didn't do that. I didn't do use array modifier. I used, I just rotated it manually. And one of the nice things about rotating it manually is that then you have both of the parts so you can modify, you can edit either one instead of having to edit the one part and then like find where the points are in that one to, anyway. You know what I mean. So that one then gets merged together and goes over here, which just booleans with this oblong sphere. I took a sphere and, and stretched it out a little bit, uh, the golden ratio, if any of you are interested. And then that gets booleaned, and then I apply that, and then I put that linked over into the main scene where it gets the final boolean, which puts the hole through the middle and also flares out the inside ends of the spiral bits so that they don't interfere with anything you have in the middle because otherwise they'd kind of be sticking in like claws and, and run into something if you had like a knot or a piece of glue or whatever. We we're talking about putting a magnet in the middle. Anyway, that is the long and the short of it. If you would like a commission, the email is, uh, there's no email actually. I don't, I don't take email commissions. You have to send me money on PayPal. Go to 3d.tryop.com. 3d.tryop.com is where you can go. And you, there's a link there to send me money to get a request to See if I can help you, which I almost certainly can, uh, as long as you can pay me. And if you don't have any money to pay me, Blender is totally free to use forever. You can download it, you can learn it. There's tons of good training material on the internet, and I'd be more than happy to see you do something awesome in Blender instead of paying me to do something awesome in Blender. But if you don't have the time, inclination, or talent, I am available if you've got the money.